police. Did one word used during the call trigger the deadly consequences? Here's Miguel Marquez. Police say when they responded to the burglary, they were on full alert. The alleged victim, Oscar Carrillo, who called 911, told the dispatcher two men who stole his backpack and computer were carrying guns. Did they have any weapons? Yeah, they have a gun. Minutes later... Do you remember anything about the gun? Two officers, only a few years each on the Pasadena police force, responded. No lights, no sirens. Police cars in Pasadena are configured to automatically record events when lights and sirens go on. It appears there is no recorded version of what transpired. Police say 19-year-old Kendrick McDade ran away from the police car, his hand on his waist. For a block and a half, the police car chased McDade until Officer Matthew Griffin caught up with him. They were just feet apart, police say. Kendrick McDade then turned toward the officer, still in his patrol car. With seconds to react, the officer from the driver's seat fired. Passing the police officers responded to that scene, believing that an armed robbery had just occurred. The shooting of Mr. McDade is absolutely tragic. McDade was shot at and hit multiple times by both Officer Griffin and backup officer Jeffrey Newland. McDade was carrying no gun and had no stolen items on him. His 17-year-old alleged accomplice was charged with grand theft. No gun was found on anyone. His crime was being black at night in the wrong place at the wrong time. Every officer is given the discretion when and when not to pull the trigger. Kendrick McDade is not the likeliest victim. A good-looking 19-year-old, no police record, attending classes at a community college, played high school football, and wanted to be a lawyer. Kendrick was a good kid. McDade's mother, who just gave birth to her third child last week, is deeply grieved. This has been a very traumatic time for me. I really don't have that much to say. I just know that I want justice. Arrested in connection with the shooting, 26-year-old Oscar Carrillo, the burglary victim. Arrested because police say he lied throughout his 911 call about McDade and other suspects having guns. He was arrested on suspicion of involuntary oh, manslaughter. The L.A. County District Attorney hasn't decided yet if he'll formally charge Carrillo. Officers Griffin and Newland have been listed as victims on the initial police report. They are currently on paid time off. All right. Well, Miguel, this is such a pretty, pretty unbelievable story. What's been the response to the police department? I mean, are they looking into? I mean, you talk about how the lights weren't on on the on the police car is just one example. Since no. We've got no record. You know, the police here have been very aggressive in getting out in front of this and releasing as much information as possible, Aaron. They held that press conference last Wednesday. Uh, there is, this is the, the vigil growing to uh, Mr. Kendrick uh, here at the corner where he died uh, or he was shot. And, you know, police here are trying to get out as much information. There are three investigations going on, one by the police department itself, one by the L.A. County Sheriff's Office, and another independent investigation by the L.A. County District Attorney's Office. All of those are pending. And you mentioned uh, the vigil going on right behind you. Has there been a significant outpouring? And uh, does this feel to you that this is this is getting more attention and more people uh, more people focusing and coming to the vigil because of what happened to Trayvon? Yeah, there there is a very quick Trayvon. Uh, Martin connection to be made here and people are making that certainly in town at the moment It appears that most people in the area and across Los Angeles are holding their breath to see what the police come up with They are interested in seeing the full police report uh, They are interested in how these investigations played out and the family is very interested in knowing how exactly it is that their son died There's a lot of confusing detail on what happened that night uh, the police have gone a lot of a long way to explaining how it is that those police officers found themselves in a situation where they felt their lives were threatened. Uh, at the moment, uh, that connection to Trayvon isn't as great, perhaps, as uh, some are trying to make it in the community. But the police are holding another a community uh, meeting tomorrow morning in order to answer questions and try to stay out in front. All right, Miguel, thank you very much. It really sounds like the police have learned that uh, transparency can go a long way. Well, new details.